reading will be from Colossians, third chapter, and we will start at verse 12. Amen. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, vows of mercy, kindness, humbleness, of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts. To which also ye are called in one body, and by ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you, richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Sing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Father, give a double blessing to the hearers and doers of the word. The Lord is high above the the Lord is high above the
Hallelujah. We thank you for joining us and tuning in this morning. Our worship schedule for the week of April 18th through the 24th is as follows. Sunday school is at 9 a.m. on Zoom. Morning worship is at 11 a.m. Also available on Facebook Live. Bible study is at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. Prayer is at 6 p.m. on Fridays. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our YouTube channel. We also have coming up our Southern California Fourth Jurisdiction Women's Convention, and it will be held on Zoom on the dates of April 28th through the 30th, 2021. Amen? Amen. Don't forget to pray for those on our prayer requests. Always have a prayer in your heart for someone else. The Bible tells us to love our neighbors, our brothers, and our sisters as we love our own selves. Amen. Amen. Our thought for the day, it is God who arms me with strength Hallelujah. and makes me, my way, excuse me, perfect. Yes. Psalms 18 and 32. Amen. Be blessed.
being depressed and feeling like you are by yourself out on an island. But I want you to know the Lord is with you. He even declared in his word that the angels of the Lord will encamp around about them that be in here. Hallelujah. And whatever you need the Lord to do, amen, you can ask of him. Amen. And he will do it for you. Amen. The word of God coming out of the book of Colossians. Amen. Colossians chapter 3. Amen. Verses 1 through 4. Hallelujah. This is something familiar to you, and we have a point or a thought out of it. Uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 through 4. And it says, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Uh, set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. And when Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Hallelujah. We are thanking God for his word. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I share a thought that you can say to your neighbor, or even if someone is sitting near you or uh, on your row or behind you, you can even say to your neighbor, seek those things which are above. Hallelujah. We want to seek those things which are above. Hallelujah. We don't want to uh, be caught up with the things of the world. Hallelujah, because the world has really nothing to offer, has absolutely nothing to offer your spiritual man. Hallelujah. The word of God even lets us know that the spirit of God and the flesh war it against one another. The devil wants you to do what you want to do. I know, I know you three times seven and you graduated from school. Uh, uh, and uh, you have a little degree. But as blood-washed believers, we belong to God. Yes. And everything that we do, we want to see what's up above. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, we're giving God all the glory. Uh, I, I, I love this praise. It says, I've been through the fire. And I've been through the flood. Been broken in pieces and left all alone. Oh, yes, but through it all, God bless me. Through it all, God has kept me, and I still have my praise. Yes, I. Oh, bless the Lord. 
Amen. Whatever you do, don't lose your praise. Hallelujah. I don't care what it is. Amen. God said he will not put more on you than you can bear. Hallelujah. And you can give God the praise. And you feel the anointing and the move of God. Uh, you can be at Walmart or I'm there by the weenie and the chief. You got to get in the praise. Don't be ashamed of him. Oh, I thank God for the praise. Ah, uh, he delights in the praises of his saints. See those things. Uh-huh, which are above. We got to be more spiritually minded. Ah, uh, now than ever. Hallelujah. And I think most people come to church, uh-huh, because they want to hear and know and understand what is necessary to make significant changes in their lives. Hallelujah. There's got to be a change, church. Amen. A significant change when you become a new creature. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you, it puts you in the mind of thinking of things of above. I want to think of things to please God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And it wouldn't be a bad thing to have that same mind that Enoch had when he uh, thought enough to want to please God that he had that testimony. Amen. Amen. And all he did, everything he did, everything he thought was to please God. Hallelujah. To do what was right. Do what God would honor him and be appreciative of him to do. Hallelujah. This is what we as believers have to understand. Uh-huh. And are you like that? Are you one of those that want significant change? Praise God. You would like significant change in your life. The Lord will do it if we stay with the word of God. Uh -huh. Paul knew how to see uh, the miracle of change happen. Mm -hmm. Under God's inspiration, he unveiled some amazing truth to show uh, exactly how we can change. Praise the Lord. Amen. Change is good. We want to change for the better. Amen. I don't want to be like I was in 1973. Hallelujah. I thank God that he delivered me. Amen. From that mind and that attitude and that lifestyle. Praise the Lord. Now he is going to show us how uh, significant change can happen in our daily lives. Why? Because of who Christ is and what he has done for us. What he's done for you and for me. Hallelujah. There should be a significant change. Uh, praise God. First of all, change begins by realizing uh, something amazing about yourself. You need to know about yourself. In Colossians 3 and 1 through 4 that we had read, that if you are raised with Christ, seek those things which are above. Amen. Uh -huh, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of the Father. Amen of God. And set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth. Amen. The, the, the flesh and the world is trying to set up a lot of things that will confirm, amen, to do the things of the world. But we want to set our mind and our focus on what will please God. Hallelujah. And he says here, for you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Hallelujah. You're dead to the world. Amen. Everything that's happening, amen. You, you're not a part of it. Praise the Lord. And when Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Ah, ah, bless the Lord. Now, one, if you are in Christ, you are a powerful person. Amen. You have authority. You have power. Amen. When you become a child of God. Amen. This is the only way you can have power huh? if you have the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. It ain't something you can buy in a magazine. Amazon don't carry it in stock. Huh? When you need some power, you need the power of God. See, the power of God will stop you from lying. Huh? The power of God will keep you from stealing. Oh my goodness. The power of God will give you the endurance huh? and long suffering. 
Generally, in this day that we're living in, you've got to have the spirit and the power of God to deal with folk that don't like you. Uh -huh. huh? It's hard to love a person and the person is talking about you and your kids. And you've got to show love and mercy. But only the power of God will give you that. That you can stand firm in the evil day. Hallelujah. And Paul explained what happened to us. Huh? As believers in four amazing statements. Yeah, he says here in Colossians 3 and 3, when he emphasized that you had died. Uh-huh. He said, for you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Who you used to be without Christ no longer exists. Uh -huh. I, I, I'm not the same person no more. I might look the same. I, yeah, I picked up a few LBSs and I lost some air. Uh, but I still ain't the same person uh, on the inside. Uh, I, I, my spiritual man has changed. I think different. I want to be with those that love God. I don't want to associate with the haters that don't love God. Amen. It says who you used to be. You, you, you don't, you're not like that no more. The old, uh, the old you have died. Amen. And you are a new creature. Amen. And the script even said that old things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. Amen. So I have a do a do a different mindset. I have a do right spirit. Amen. Everything I do, I want people to be blessed. I, I, I look forward to helping somebody. Amen. That is in need of support and help. The script even said, do good, especially to them of the household of faith. So while you are seeking those things which are above, which will please God, you would do that down here as a new creature. Hallelujah. And it also says you have been resurrected with Christ. Amen. Colossians 3 and 1. And it emphasizes that you have been moved to a new location. Ah, look at that. Uh-huh. And have a new power which is the life of Christ in you. Amen. You have a new life. You can speak those things. Oh my, I tell you, evangelist uh, department, amen, and, and on, on last Friday, amen, I tell you, evangelistic night, those, those, those speakers, missionaries and elders, they just blessed my heart. Amen. They said, you got to speak life. Huh? If you can't speak life, you need to keep your grill shut. Uh, uh, we got to say things that is positive. Huh? Amen. We got to say things that is edifying, that will build up. Amen. And inspire others to want to serve God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we know that Jesus is really risen. Huh? He had raised from the dead. Then our identification with him becomes real. We know that he is real because he's risen in us. Amen. 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 And every now and then you ought to feel the presence of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And it is only because we're raised with Christ that we can seek those things which are above. Ah, Colossians 2. Amen. Chapter 2 and verse 12 to 13. It says, bury with him in, in baptism and which are also were raised with him through faith in the working of God. Praise the Lord. Who raised him from the dead. Ah, uh, and it says, oh, and you being dead, uh-huh, in your trespasses and uncircumcisions of your flesh, he has made alive together with him. Oh, look at that. Having forgiveness, you all, uh, uh, having forgiveness, you all trespasses. All of your trespasses and sins, the Lord has forgiven you. Yes. Amen. We don't have to let the devil put that mess in your mind and making you feel down on yourself. Stuff you used to do and the stuff that you did. God said he forgives you of that. And he has thrown it in the sea of forgiveness to remember no more. Yes. Amen. I can celebrate the Lord. Huh? I can give God the praise without having that burden on me. Amen. That I, and what I've done. Because he has died. Amen. And risen. And all of my trespasses. 
Amen. Iniquities have been forgiven. Ah, bless the Lord. Now I'm seeing that we are risen with Christ. Certain behaviors is appropriate to us. Uh-huh. Amen. Because we are raised with him. Hallelujah. We should act just as Jesus did when he was huh, resurrected. Praise the Lord. And after his resurrection, Jesus left the tomb. Uh-huh. So you so should we. Uh-huh. We shouldn't be. We we don't do we don't live in, there anymore. Uh, you ain't gonna see me at the club. Uh, I, I've been delivered from that. Jesus ain't in the tomb. Y'all looking for me to be somewhere. I don't do that no more. Uh, I don't drink. I don't, oh my goodness. I, 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 I don't drink my little old, my little old drink I used to throw together. Some of y'all, y'all like uh, that brisk iced tea. Uh, but I would drink in my, my iced tea too. Uh, uh, amen. But I don't drink that iced tea no more. Uh, Long Island ain't here today. I'm in California. I'm in Lancaster. I'm out here in this hot desert. Amen. I drink, I drink the sweet tea. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Uh, because I'm a changed person. Uh, I'm not there no more. Amen. I don't hang out with some of the people that don't love God. Uh, my association, my friends with my brothers here. Uh, these are the brothers I trust. These are the ones that I hang out. Why? Because I'm a new creature. And I see that they are a new creature. Uh, old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. When you see those things which are above, you, 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 you have the mind of Christ. And when they went to the tomb to see him, he wasn't there. Uh, when they were looking for you, you know, no, you're not there no more. Why? Because you've been delivered. You are a new creature. Hallelujah. And after uh, he said his resurrection, Jesus left the tomb and so, that, so that's what we should do. Uh, and so here he said, uh, excuse me, <coughs> after Jesus sent his remaining uh, uh, time being with his ministry uh, to his disciples. He spent time working with them. He spent time sharing with them the word of God. And that's what you and I should be doing. We should be wanting to teach the word. I thank God for our saintly mothers. Amen. That is here at the, at the Angelo Valley Church. Amen. Amen. Women full of the word of God. Anointed. Amen. Gifted. Amen. You can bring the old school and let you and these young men and women know what it needs to be in order to be effective servants of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is with regard to seeking those things of above because they want you to be blessed. Hallelujah. And even the scripture even said that the age woman is to teach the younger women. Hallelujah. And we thank God for these young women and young men that want to be taught. Uh, they want to hear the truth. Praise the Lord of how they can stand in this evil day. And after his resurrection, Jesus looked forward to heaven, knowing he would soon ascend there. Uh -huh. So should we. We should recognize that our citizenship in heaven is in heaven. Uh, this is not our home. We realize this is just a passing way. This is just a place where we are being perfected so that we can inherit eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. A lot of things are being said. A lot of different uh, 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 teachings and, and, and preaching about things that doesn't have the substance of the word of God. And the scripture warns us, beware of false teachers and preachers and prophets. Huh? Everybody is uh, professing things that is not according to the word of God. This is why we inspire you to read your Bible every day. Every day you ought to read the word huh? and talk to God. Prayer is just simply talking to God, letting God know. Huh? So as you are seeking those things which are above, you want to stay in strict communication with the Lord. Ha, hallelujah. Uh -huh. You have died and even have been resurrected with Christ. Uh -huh. And your life is hidden with Christ in God. You find that in Colossians 3 and 4. Hallelujah. You are forever pardoned. Uh -huh. God doesn't hold that against you no more. 
praise the Lord, the sins and the adversity that you had committed and things. He had pardoned you. You have forever been protected. He said that the angel of the Lord will encamp around about them that fear him. God will protect you. If you take anything deadly out of way, he said it will not harm you. Hallelujah. What a protection that we have. We don't have to pray for bodyguards and all of this, trying to have protection. The Lord is that I'm with you, even to the end of the world. Oh, bless his name. Christ is your life. Uh-huh. He says Christ gives us power to help us to live now. Uh-huh. He gives you power, and he gives us hope for the future. Amen. I thank God for the hope of the future, that he's coming back again. And he's going to redeem me. And he's going to, I want to be caught up in that first rapture. Huh? I don't want to be left here to have to go through the tribulation. I want to live so that God will rapture me out of this. Huh? And he said in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, it's going to be over. You're going to be changed from more to immortality. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Christ is your life. And you see that in, in Colossians 3 and 4. And it says, Christ who is your life. That means I have Christ, he has me, all he is, I have. Hallelujah. What a wonderful thing to know. Amen. That I'm a royal priest. And I'm, a, I'm of that family that has him. They're telling this boy here that, that married this girl that they're going to strip him of all his royalty stuff and take back a bunch of Indian givers. Huh? And, and, and I, and you give me something that ought to be mine. Hallelujah. Yeah. You give me a lemon pepper wing, I'm done with it. I can eat the bone, I can eat the gristle. That's my business. Why? Because you gave it to me. Oh, I'm thinking about it right now. Look out, boy. I praise God for lemon pepper. Hey, hallelujah. Hey, Amen. But you become a royal priesthood. Huh? And empowered because you have all of Christ. Any change is possible in your life. Hallelujah. And I thank you because the word of God in Philippians 4 and 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. You have the ability to do all things. Uh, you can change situations in your life. You can speak it and it will come to pass. Huh? The life and power, I'm telling you, they that evangelist department and put some, they don't put some good meat out there, preacher. Huh? Where well, you can speak it, you got to believe it. Hallelujah. And God will bring it to pass. Huh? And he says, when Jesus, it, 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 we can do all things. Without him, we can't do nothing. Amen. We are able to perform or to go and to do without the power and the help of the Lord. Amen. You may realize this or you can experience it. But just because you are living below uh, what God planned for you, don't blame or doubt God. Uh, if Christ is your life, anything is possible. Huh? You can do anything for the Lord. Amen. When he's in your life. You can call on him at any time. At midnight, he will answer. Hallelujah. And if you are in Christ, you are a powerful person. You got to believe you are in, you got authority. You got power. Hallelujah. You can speak those things as if they were. You can believe the word of God. God will honor you. You can pray for the sick. And the word said they shall recover. These signs will follow them that believe. Uh, in my name they shall cast out some devils. We got devils that need to be cast out of our house. Out of our home. We got devils that need to be cast out of our finances. And off of our physical body. Whatever you got the power to do it. Because of Christ. Uh huh. And you should seek those things which are above. Uh, set your mind on things above. Always thinking of heavenly things, thinking of nice things, thinking things to, to do for one another. Amen. Not sitting back waiting for somebody to do something for you. But you want to always want to be a blessing. Huh? We always want to help people who are going through. As believers, building the kingdom of God. This is what God requires of you and for me. Huh? Always looking to do the right thing. Praise the Lord. Always want to be for the underdog. Hallelujah. Amen. And set your mind on things above. Seek the, the things of heaven. Meditate and dwell upon the things of Christ. 
Praise the Lord. The best Christian living comes from minds that are fixed on heaven. Amen. You will have all perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. That's all you have to do is meditate. Keep your mind on the Lord. Huh? Always thinking about when you get in your car to drive, you're thinking on the Lord. Huh? I guarantee you, church, if you are afraid of what uh, is going on in the land of unjust stopping by police and killing and people are being shot, but keep your mind on the Lord. Oh, my. He said, I'll keep you in perfect peace. That's the antidote. That's the, the remedy for protection. Huh? I keep my mind on the Lord. Whatever you do, you ask me about, well, Lord, how to fix this? Well, I've done it before, but I still need his help. Huh? Amen. The believer is to seek the things above. The word seek means um, the aspiration, desire, and possession. Hallelujah. And you also want that passion. I want to please God. I want God to be pleased with me. Hallelujah. In every, every endeavor, everything I seek to do, as I seek the kingdom of God, I want the Lord to be pleased with what I do, not only for myself, but for others. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And here it says here, hallelujah, in the word of God, uh, it says, but you are in Christ. This means that where he is, you are too. Uh-huh. Amen. Now that Jesus is the Son of God, has passed uh, into the heavens, we have access to heaven because of what the writer said here in Hebrews uh, 4 and 16. He said, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Hallelujah. That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Whatever you need, God is there to help you. Amen. You can come boldly before the throne. Huh? You can call on the other way. You can call on the Lord wherever you are. Amen. In any situation. And he would do that. One day we will be with Christ in glory. The promise of the return of Jesus is not only that we will see his glory, but also that we also will appear with him in glory. Oh, I'm looking for that day. Oh, I'm looking for that opportunity to be with the Lord in glory. That's why we're living this life. We sing this song. I'm living this life just to live again. Huh? I, 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 I'm living this life because I want to live it with him in glory. Praise the Lord. The book in Romans chapter 8 verses 18 and 19. In Romans it says, For I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Look at that. For the earnest expectation of the creation, huh? It early waits or eagerly waits for the revealing of the Son of God. Hallelujah. And Paul wrote Christ who is our life. Uh -huh. Here he showed that this idea was not just a special uh, uh, apostle, but, uh, but for all believers. This is for everybody. This is for you and for me. All believers have this opportunity. This is being awarded to all those that will love Christ. Amen. In his appearing. Amen. Don't lower. Amen. On that day, uh, all will see the saints of God. For what they really are is not as they merely appear to this world. So don't lower your standard of holy living. Amen. Huh? This is the highest standard of living. Amen. Is uh, living holy. Living like Christ. Living the word of God. Amen. So don't lower it. Don't lower your standard trying to please folk. Uh, don't lower your standard trying to obtain favor in the world. No, I'm going to do what the Bible says. If the Bible tells me this is how I am to go, that's how I go. Uh, I'm going to love folk. Don't not get up there and fast and pray and tell the Lord to get rid of your haters. Uh, let the earth open up and swallow them all. Uh, and their cousins and all that. No, all you got to do is trust God. Uh, God, the word of God has prepared it for you to have to have opposition. That's why he said love your enemy, love your hater. He said I will prepare.
prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Uh, some of you need a table prepared. Some of you need the blessings of the Lord. Amen. And so therefore you're going to have to go through. Amen. When you have to deal. Amen. With those who don't Lord and that does not love you. Why must we do this? Because we have a new home. Amen. We have a new place that we are going to experience when we are living with God. Lastly, in Colossians 3, 1 through 4, it says that then you were raised with Christ. Seek those things above. So if you are now a new creature, let's seek the things which is of God. Let's look for things that are above. Let's look for ways to help those who are less fortunate. Huh? Let's look for ways to be a blessing to those who are in need. Let's show the love and compassion for our children. Some of these children are not going to have the opportunity to be successful in life if we throw in the towel. Uh, we don't give up on our youth. Uh, I don't care how bad they are. I don't care what they do. Uh, and some of the stuff they're trying to learn is things as a parent you try to forget. Uh, but God has put you in a position to show that love and that consideration. I tell you, the evangelist department spoke to speak life. It lets us know that you've got to be careful how you speak to one another. You need to be careful how you say things to your child. Huh? If you call him out of his name and say that, he's going to act like out of his name and say that. Huh? But we as children of God, we want to give those uh, the opportunity to life. And we want to live according to the word. And it says set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth. Uh, don't be thinking about the worldly stuff. It will destroy your relationship with God. Hallelujah. And when Christ, who is our life, appears, then you huh, also will appear with him. That is our ultimate goal. That's our ultimate desire is to appear with Christ in God. Hallelujah. This is where we live. Uh-huh. And the realization of what we know have in the base of lasting life in change. Amen. We want to be a servant that God will be pleased with. Amen. 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 Father God, we thank you for this word of encouragement for the believer as we seek those things which are above. And as we apply ourselves to your word, we pray that you will minister to the needs of the hearer. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we rebuke the devil right now. He's trying to discourage saints around the world. That is no use. But we are looking to you who is the author and the finisher of our faith. We ask this in your majesty's name. In Jesus we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to pray for you today. Amen. Hallelujah. That God will give you the desires of your heart. Right where you are. Hallelujah. I know God can do it. We have someone streaming and is driving, whether at work or in a position where they cannot come. Amen. We want you to lay your hands on yourself. We are in the act of faith. And most gracious God, we pray now that you touch our minds and our hearts. That we will seek you and we will look and seek those things which are above. We pray for covering. We pray for your anointing. Allow us to have that power to be able to do the service, the, the assignment that thou hast decreed. We honor you in Jesus' name. Forgive sin and shame every way. Repeat the adversary. And lift every hung down head and bind every broken heart. We decree this in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever you do, don't lose your praise.